What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here. Today I want to set up my white tank. White only. So let's try this out. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany Outdoors, there was Tiffany the farmer. Are you turn when possible? No, we're not. So on my better rack, I want to have, I want to call it the Patriot rack. And top fish should be red, middle fish should be white, bottom fish will be blue. And on the inside, I want the decorations to kind of reflect. The first tank, I didn't do that so much, but the second tank, I do want to do most of all the decorations white, except for some wood and maybe some plants, of course. But I have, I have some two pieces of driftwood soaking here. I got a piece of Malaysian driftwood and a piece of Mopani wood. A lot of people like these because they instantly sink. You don't have to do anything and it sinks. So this has been soaking for 48 hours now. You see all the tannins in there? I want the water to be clear. Now there's nothing wrong with this. A lot of people have tannin, tannin and brackish water tanks for the bettas. But I want mine to be clear because the fish that's going in this water is going to be white. So let me dump this out, soak it some more, get the next batch going. And in the meantime, I have the sand and rocks in there. I'm going to go ahead and rinse those out and get those cleaned up and get started planting the tank. Aside from the wood, I've got some of this decorative sand, this white sand. I got this from Dollar Tree. Let me use some of that. Also, I got some of these decorative rocks. Got these from, I believe it was AC Moore or Michaels. Got some of the larger stones here. Maybe I got this at Dollar Tree too. I may have got these at Dollar Tree too. And these, I know I got these from Dollar Tree. Some smaller rocks compared to the big rocks. All in white. So first thing I need to do is start getting this stuff opened up and get it rinsed off very, very well. Now that I've got my rocks cleaned, now it's time to prep this tank. It's a five and a half gallon tank and I'm going to first take this off and then I'm going to take the rim off. And I have a separate video on how I do that. I'll link that in the description below. I've got the frame off and got this all cleaned up. Scraped the top, all the silicone off and all of that. So the next thing I want to do is a background. And what I'm going to do is I want to take this. And I got this from Dollar Tree. It's a chopping mat. And it basically looks like a... Uh, this stuff it's like the uh, flexible chopping board and what I did was I measured the back and I need I needed to do it in two pieces so I have this bigger piece and then I have a smaller piece here and what I'm gonna do is paint this I'm gonna paint this black and there's like a rough textured side and a smooth side what you're gonna do is paint on that rough textured side the paint will hold well and I'm gonna paint this black black back I'm going to paint this background black Ooh, say that three times really fast <laughs> so I'm just using some of this uh, jet black apple barrel paint from Walmart and these are like 50 cent 97 cents something like that and I'm just simply gonna take a brush and paint it on like so and then it'll dry very quickly and then what I'm going to do is just take some um, some scotch tape and tape it to the back. My background has dried so just a little bit of scotch tape that's all you need. And there. Background looks great. 
so that stuff behind it like cords and things won't distract from the aesthetic of what is going to be going on inside the tank. So let's go ahead and get this tank scaped. I'm going to start off by cutting a piece of this light diffuser or egg crate to go into the bottom. And putting this in the bottom of a rimless tank is going to distribute the weight of the stones and the wood and plants and things that we're going to put inside. Next we'll go in the substrate for the plants. Now for some hardscape, I got the Malaysian driftwood. I put a couple of dragon stones in here, trying to give it a more like of a upward slope here. And now for some plants. Oh, look at that! It's flowering. Look at that! It's actually got a flower on it right there. This is a uh, dwarf Sagittaria. Tank number four set up and ready. Um, once it's cycled, I can use water out of this tank, but it's a, it's a little cloudy right now, so I'm not going to take that water just yet. Um, I'm going to let this tank cycle for a couple of weeks, and then I'm going to add our fish.